is. Good morning, guys. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? Right. Good. Now, today we're going to be writing. So, W-R-I-T-I-N-G. Give me a T. T. Give me an H. 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 Give me an E. E. Give me an S. S. Give me an I. I. Give me an S. S. What does that spell? Thesis. We'll right. put our pens to paper, we'll, we'll organize, organize our essays, essays. We'll, we'll write a strong, strong analysis or arguments. Alright, so today we're going to start off by um, asking you guys to write what a thesis statement is. So, first off, on your papers I want you to write what is a thesis statement and what is its purpose at the beginning of the essay. So just take a minute to do that and let me know if you have any questions. I have a sentence, and that's my sentence. Okay, good. All right, so, uh, Krista, what did you write? A thesis states and outlines the intention of the entire argument. Good, yeah. So that is going to be the case in both analytical and argumentative essays. In, there are three main types of essays, analytical, explanatory, and argumentative. Explanatory is just what it sounds like. They are going to just be explaining what something is in the essay. Analytical essays, you're going to be analyzing usually another piece of writing, uh, a work of art, um, really analyzing the purpose and the methods behind the purpose, behind accomplishing the purpose of whatever that piece is. Argumentative, you're going to be presenting an argument. Guys, what are you doing? Taking notes. Take notes. Make sure you're listening. It's okay. Okay, good. I just want to make sure you guys are paying attention. Yes, we are. Okay. Taking notes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, so, argumentative essays. What are you going to do in those types of essays, Jess? <laughs> Say argument. Good. Yes. So, Alright, how might the purpose of the thesis vary which, with these various types of essays? Colin, what do you think? Well, I think that uh, depending on what kind of essay you write, you're going to have to write a different kind of thesis. Like for an argumentative essay, you're going to have to state what the main argument is that you're making, and then you're going to have to use the subsequent paragraphs in order to prove that thesis. Now, as far as something like an explanatory essay will go, the explanatory, or the explanatory thesis would develop much more of a uh, general kind of statement as to what you're going to be explaining in the essay, and as opposed to evidence as to what you're arguing, you are more outlining what you're going to be explaining. So depending on the kind of essay that you're writing, your thesis will change. But, yes. That was cool. Yes. That was cool. Okay, good. Now, are you going to be using evidence in only explanatory essays, or also argumentative and analytical? We use them in all of them. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Good guys. Okay. Um, now, how would you structure a thesis statement? Is there a specific way to write it? Is there anything specific you need to include in it? Ignore this completely. Yes. I guess your thesis needs the main topics of each paragraph. Okay. So how might you include that in a thesis statement? Could you give me an example? Well, you could kind of start the sentence, then you could go through and hit each point. So you could say, if you were talking about how the writer used characters, and how they used dialogue, okay. and maybe their voice, you could say something about characters, and something about voice, something about style, and make it general. Okay. Good. I really like that. I think that's very important in a thesis statement. Jess, Colin, do you have any thoughts? It should be what your paper is about. Yes, definitely. 
think your thesis isn't what they think they're about, but it's not going to make much sense.